Hey, it's Mike from DriveIdea.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make this effect, this bubble effect right here, with um, in After Effects. I got this image from Trophy Brewing uh, Company's Instagram page, which just took a screenshot, saved it to my desktop, and I dragged it into After Effects. And I'm just going to show you that how easy this is. Now, right here, you've got the image. We've got um, this is this this is a solid which we're going to put the effect on, and we're going to mask it out. We're going to start off by creating a new composition. And I'm just going to drag the image that I brought in here into uh, right there in the compositions and drag it outside of here since this is number two. Now, this is all we have right now is the image itself. And I'm going to lock this and I'm going to zoom in with command plus sign, hit G for the pen tool, which is right up here. And I'm going to draw right in the black area here and I'm going to draw it up. So I'm just kind of clicking around and then dragging the pen tool to do this bezier or bezier, whatever people call it, I say bezier. And once you click and, and drag, it makes this nice curve. And then at the end, I'm going to connect that here. One thing I want to do is move this in. So you're going to want to just kind of finesse it a little bit depending on how detailed you want to get. Since this is a tutorial, I don't want to get too crazy with it. But I also don't want to make it look like a giant piece of crap. So let's see. Uh, let me. Okay, since I added that little, I'll do that. So all I did here was just hit Option, and it gave me this little. Um, I forget what they call it. It gave me the Convert Vertex tool, which is right there. And I'm going to drag it over here, and drag this there. Perfect. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, that's the mask. I'm going to name this Masker. That's what I always name my masks. I'm going to give it a red color. Now I'm going to add a solid right above it, which is Command Y. I am working on a Mac. Just say yes. It's 1080 by 1080 is the size of it, which I think will probably be bigger than this area. Yeah, because the comp itself, if you hit Command K, it's 598 by 599. If this was, if I was making this for a client, I would be doing 1080 by 1080. But since I just hijacked the image online, I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to hit S. And I'm going to just scroll this down a little bit. All right, quick, perfect. Now I'm going to move this underneath by hitting Command left bracket under the mask. And I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to hit nothing actually. I'm going to turn up the mask just so I can show you what's going to happen. So in the effects, let me get rid of that. I have my effects and presets over here. And I'm just going to type in bubbles. And I'm going to double click CC bubbles. And it's going to, oh, no, I'm going to double click it when it's um, selected on the solid, and it's going to add it to that. Now I'm going to change this to, say, bubbles by hitting return and then typing away. Now if, I, if you see, if I zoom in a little bit, there's just bubbles that are floating up. Now what you're going to want to do is kind of mess with these um, attributes here. And I'm going to keep the speed there, the amplitude. Eh. All right, I'll figure all this out in a second. First things first, go here and make sure you see this track alpha mat. If you don't see it, it's probably because one of these is clicked off. So just click on these in the bottom left and you'll till you see track mat. And then you're going to want to hit masker. And what it's doing is that anything that's inside of this mask is showing and anything outside of it is not showing. But if I was going to invert it, if I did invert it, then everything outside of it would show and everything inside would not show. So it almost looks like there's bubbles, in this case, going behind the glass, which is kind of a cool effect, or behind this part of the glass. But I don't want to do that. I want to have it inside the glass. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to open the work area up a little bit. So I'm going to hit here, with scrub here, and hit N, as in Nicholas Berry. He'll get a kick out of that if he's watching this. And I'm just going to just preview it by hitting Control-0, and you'll see that we've got some bubbles. And that's what it's doing. That's pretty much it. Now you can just mess around with the speed. Let's kick the speed up a little bit. Let's get the size of these suckers down. Um, and reflect. we can mess around with the, the look of the bubbles. That wouldn't look really good. That looks pretty decent. And the bubble size. Let's make giant bubbles. No, let's not do that. Let's do little bubbles. There we go. Wobble frequency, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, and there you go. So you got some bubbles uh, just floating up your glass, let's see. Yeah, so there you go. And you can kind of just mess around with it, but then that could just be your image on Instagram. Right now, they just have this image here, and it's got about 34 likes. They just put it up about 23 hours ago. 
But if you have video and you're utilizing, utilizing, let's say, on Facebook or Instagram, um, you can just <clears throat> you're going to gain engagement from people because they have to hit a play button. So you can track that people are actually viewing your videos and taking the time to watch this stuff. And it's also a lot more interesting than just a regular image, which uh, video is killing it. And, you know, the statistics will show you, but I don't really need to explain that to you. And the reason it kills is because if someone's scrolling through and they just see an image, like, okay, an image, but a video, they're going to sit there and watch. And, you know, we as human beings like to sit there and be like, oh, bubbles, there they go. That's great. And if you're on Facebook and they're doing this, and you get someone to watch this video, let's say, for over 10 seconds, you can then retarget them with more of your ads. And now you've got people, without even realizing it, they just became a target for you to hit more ads to because they watched 10 seconds of bubbles. So that's it. Yeah, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Let me do a new solid here. Let me do my name. So you can email me, mike at drive80.com. Maybe I should add some color to this. By doing red. I'll do red because that's aggressive. So Mike at drive80.com. I'm located in Raleigh, North Carolina. I work in After Effects all the time and I'm looking to help B2C companies just get a better presence online using video. I want to target B2Cs because they have they can have a lot more fun with their marketing and do some really cool stuff. B2Bs are very boring and they don't do such stuff like that. But yeah, so email me, mike at drive80.com. You can make uh, leave a comment wherever this video is. And you can also check out my, uh, you can get free emails from me by going to drive80.com slash learn. And you can sign up for my weekly, excuse me, I'm very sorry about that, weekly emails that I uh, I send out showing things like this. And thanks a lot.